Do you want to build a thousand times faster in Minecraft? Then you've come to the right place. If you watch this entire video from start to finish and follow what I show you, I guarantee you're going to build on the same level as some of the best pro builders out there right now. Let's not waste any more time and hop right into it. Timestamps are in the description if I go over something you already know. This is the Ultimate World Edit Tutorial. We're going to be starting with basic installation and moving on to advanced tech later. To download World Edit, you will need to either mod your game or be using a server. For single player modding, I personally use Fabric. You can install Fabric by typing in fabricmc.net in your browser and going through the Fabric setup process. For this tutorial, I am using 1.19.2. However, the installation is the exact same for other versions. Once you've successfully installed Fabric, you're going to search up Fabric API mod and download that jar file. You're also going to download the World Edit jar file as well. All the links to this are in the description if you need help navigating. Once you're done with this, open percent app data percent in start menu, navigate to dot minecraft and open your mods folder. You're going to drop in the fabric api and world edit files in here. Then launch your game. Make sure you've installed everything for the correct version of minecraft you're on. In my case, I'm using 1.19.2. Once you've done all this, simply launch the game, and if it doesn't crash, then it worked. But what if you're using world edit on a server? In this case, you download the plugin version, search up World Edit Plugin, or follow the link I put in the description to download it. Once you've downloaded the jar, navigate to your plugins folder in your server and simply drop the World Edit file in. Restart your server, and it should work. Let's move into the Minecraft game and actually start using World Edit now. Okay guys, so we're starting off with a basic slash slash wand command. Typing this will give you a wooden axe. In World Edit, you will always make these selection boxes with this axe where you want to edit. Left click to set the first position, and right click to set the second position. You can also manually set the two positions if, for example, you don't have a block to click on in mid-air. You can get around this by typing slash slash pose 1 and slash slash pose 2. This does the exact same thing with the axe when left clicking or right clicking. Once we have our world edit selection, we can now run commands like slash slash set stone. This will fill your entire selection with stone. To undo this, type slash slash undo. To redo, type slash slash redo. With every command that places a block, you can also do any type of block. Simply type in the name of it correctly. Like for example, I could do slash slash set smooth underscore stone underscore slab. And as you can see, it replaced all the stone with smooth stone slabs. Now, what if I wanted the whole double slab? Maybe I don't want these half slab gaps. In that case, we can add a bracket after smooth underscore stone underscore slab. World Edit will automatically give us some block state options here, such as type equal double. We close the bracket and hit enter, and as you can see, it has doubled up. If you want to add some other tags to it, like waterlogged for example, simply add a comma here and then type waterlogged equal true. You can add infinite commas that add more tags if you want your blocks to behave in certain ways. So now that this is waterlogged, if a player were to break any block here, it would start leaking water. Pretty cool, right? Experiment with different block states and add some uniqueness to your builds. Like my personal favorite, slash slash set spruce door half equal upper. See? It's a half spruce door. You can use this to set your builds apart or make them really unique. You can also set multiple blocks and patterns. I can do slash slash set diamond underscore block, comma, iron underscore block, comma, diorite stairs. And then we're going to add a half equal top right here. Another comma, gold underscore block again. And I think we'll just run with that. Each comma you can add a new block. If there's a block state, do it outside of the comma, like this. World Edit will make a random mix of these blocks when setting. You can also control the percentage. For example, if you want to set your selection with mostly iron blocks mixed with a few diamond blocks, then type slash slash set 10% diamond underscore block, comma, 90% iron block. As you can see, it reflects our percentage. But what if you have a specific pattern in mind? Let's say I want a circular stone pattern floor for my selection. I'll build this real quick, make two selections on each corner, type slash just copy, and then make a selection where I want to tile the floor. Then type this command, slash just set pound sign clipboard. As you can see, World Edit will generate an infinite pattern. We'll get into the slash slash copy command more later in this video. There are a lot of different options. I recommend checking out the world edit docs if you want to really get into the thick of it. Link is also in the description. Slash slash replace. Now moving back to our diamond and iron square, let's say you want to get rid of all the iron blocks but not the diamond. The solution to this is the slash slash replace command. Everything that worked with slash slash set, 
still works in slash slash replace, except this command gives you more control. We can type slash slash replace iron underscore block air, for example, and that will leave us with a bunch of floating diamond blocks. We can retexture this diamond block by typing slash slash replace diamond block oak planks. And let's say for some reason I want in between all this to be glass. I can do slash slash replace air glass. This is much more useful than slash slash set, if you ask me. Retexturing builds are very common for you to do in your build to improve them. Let me give you a basic example, and I'll leave your imagination to run wild after that. Let's say you have a house with an oak roof and oak wall. Maybe you'd want to retexture the roof to spruce, and it just so conveniently happens to be all made of oak stairs for my example. You can type slash slash replace oak underscore stairs, and then tilde up spruce stairs, and it will copy the exact block state, but retexturing it. Now, let's say I make a box of iron, diamond, emerald, and lapis blocks, and for some reason I want to get everything except lapis. How would I do this? Easy. Type slash slash replace exclamation point lapis underscore block air, which means target everything in the selection that is not a lapis block. There are many more targeter types in the world edit docs, however I feel that I have showcased the most useful ones. Let's move on to some other general commands. Slash slash sill allows you to make cylinders. Simply type slasa sill block name, then radius. For example, slasa sill stone 8. This will make an 8 block cylinder. You can make a hollowed out cylinder by using slasa 8 sill, which will make a perfect circle instead. A really easy way to make quick roofs, for example, is to type slasa sill stone 7, jump up a block, and then up arrow on your keyboard to repeat the command, lowering the number by 1 each jump. So slasa sill stone 6, up one block, Sill stone 5, up one block, sill stone 4, till we get a roof we like. I can skip a block or two each time I go up to give it a nice medieval tower shape. Slash those pyramid and slash those H pyramid. This works the exact same as cylinder, but it makes a pyramid instead. I don't really use this too often, but here are the results. Slash those walls. Makes walls between your two selections. Here's an example. I do slash those pose 1, pose 2 here. Then I type slash slash walls cobblestone. Boom! Hollowed out cobblestone wall. You can make buildings pretty easily with this. Slash BR. Slash BR is a brush option in world edit. If you hold a tool on your character such as a sword or axe and type slash BR spear stone 5, you will now have a tool you can right click to place balls of stone everywhere. This is useful for making terrain if you were to use slash BR sphere sand instead. See, sand naturally falls to the ground in Minecraft, allowing you to easily make mountainous terrain. You can also hold another tool and use slash BR smooth 5 for example, which will smooth out terrain in a 5 radius. Then use the slash slash replace command. You can select the whole area and turn it into stone. And then you can select this entire area and do slash slash overlay grass underscore block instantly turning this into some pretty nice custom terrain. If you want to texture this further, use slash gmass exclamation point air. Note that using slash gmass block type makes it so that you can only affect blocks you list. I did exclamation point air, which means I can't target air. This is great for texturing. I'm going to grab a diamond sword and do slash br sphere andesite cobblestone and target the bottom of the mountains. Once you're finished, do slash gmass by itself to turn your mask on or off so that you can build normally once again. I like how this terrain turned out. Let's continue with the most powerful command world that it has to offer. Slash slash copy and slash slash paste. We're finally here to the most useful tool of world edit, copy and paste. Minecraft builds have really repetitive elements to them, like this roof for example. This makes dealing with that repetition a much more manageable process. Make a selection with pose 1 and pose 2, do slash slash copy, and then you can slash slash paste whatever you last copied relative to where your character was standing in regard to the selection you copied. So for example, let's say I want to add a roof to this house I make with slash slash walls. I can make one selection here on the edge, then I can copy standing here, and just go up the building diagonally, pasting and using the up arrow in chat whenever I position my character in the correct spot. And that's just one of the many uses for this. I could copy an entire house, fly over here and paste it. Maybe I'll add a little box on the side and make this house different than the first one. It's up to you how creative you want to be with this. But there's an even more powerful aspect to this tool. Schematics. 
You can create a schematic by copying a selection and then using slash skim save name of the schematic. I'm going to name this house we made world edit underscore test. So I type slash skim save world edit underscore test. And in your world edit folder, you will create a file called schematics. You can find the data of the build in here. You can now export this file to servers, programs, or other people, or even send it to your single player world if you want. We can save another schematic, this house, by selecting it, copying, and skim save world edit underscore test 2. Now we have two schematic files. You can freely switch between these schematics using slash skim load file name. I type slash skim load world edit test 1, and then use slash slash paste. And voila, it loaded. I can load world edit underscore test 2 like this, and use slash slash paste, and now it will switch to that. Remember how I said Minecraft building has a lot of repetitive elements in it? Let me show you a practical example. Let's say I want to make a modern city building. I build two different styles of windows. Saving both of these windows is world edit underscore toot one and world edit underscore toot two. And now check out how fast I'm going to build this. I'm using world edit underscore tut one for the lower floor. I'll just paste, 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 and this is about as far as I want it. Now we're gonna go up to the second floor and upwards. I'm searching the world edit tut two and I'm going to move my character up here and paste it until it's filled again. I'm now going to copy this floor and paste it up so that my building has 9 floors. We're now going to select both corners of the second floor and we're going to do slash slash copy at the bottom corner here. And then rise up a couple blocks and do slash slash paste. And keep doing this in even increments until you have a whole building. And we're just gonna keep going till I feel like it's on the grandiose scale that I like to build at. Now we got a wall, but how do we turn this into a whole building? Easy, we have everything we need already. I'm going to go to one corner and pose one, and then go to the other corner, pose two, and then slash slash copy. I'm going to then go to this corner, and this is where I introduce the command slash slash rotate. This allows you to rotate your selection by 90 degrees. I'll type slash slash rotate 90 and then paste. We're going to repeat this process by going over to each corner of the building and doing rotate 90 and doing slash slash paste. This will result in us having a four-sided building which we can now do a lot of things with if we want to. Then I'll finish this off by doing slash slash set quartz block as the root. And look at that, a completely original Minecraft building created in minutes. That's pretty insane, right? And this was made with just two schematic assets. Now, imagine if you had hundreds of these assets all bundled together and easy to switch between. Like this asset pack I made here. I have a medieval house outline that I'm going to just start loading these assets on and pasting it. Allowing the creation of extremely detailed buildings in seconds. The amount of time having an asset library saves you if you're looking to build a server or a professional project is insane. You can see how effective this is in action. I call this the World Edit Starter Pack. This pack has every wall design you could possibly think of, of, all neatly organized and ready for you to use. If that wasn't good enough, it comes with lots of other assets such as interior designs, kitchens, family rooms, bedrooms, and more. It even comes with outside assets too, like lamps, chairs, shops, barrels, and much more. Potentially making this the best Minecraft asset pack available on the entire internet. I know when I started building back in the day, I would have found this extremely helpful, but I digress. There are still many more tricks I want to show you, but I think I'll save that for part 2. The World Edit Advanced Guide. Like and subscribe if this helped you and if you want to see more. And I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have in the comments section. See you in part 2.